Happy hey, birthday, Bill. Happy birthday. Hey, yes, thank you. Yes, the old guy in front of us. I can't stand. Hey, Bill, you turned 70. You had a big party. Do you feel older? Was it a sonic boom? What kind of boom was it, Mr. Boom? That am I allowed? Do I feel older? Here, it, curious thing. It, I apologize in case we've talked about this before. Some time ago, Marianne asked me, do you think you're old? And I said, no, I don't think I'm old. But I recognize the fact that everybody else does. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, so... Um, no, I don't feel old at all. Now, there are days when I get up and the right knee doesn't work when I get out of bed. It's like, you know, last night when I went to bed, and I've told you guys before, you're not getting older until you hurt yourself in your sleep. But, um, <laughs> I, you know, turning 70, uh, and Marianne was like, well, do you want a party? You want to have something? We have friends over. And I, and I told her it was, I was getting kind of pensive about the whole thing. Not dreading it, but definitely got my attention. But I told her I just wanted to, I just felt quiet about turning 70. So we were supposed to go over to our daughter's house and she was going to make dinner for me the night before my birthday and went over there and I didn't see any extra cars. I thought there might be an extra couple or two there or something. And Jessica shows me through the hallway and there was a big happy 70th birthday, like banner vertically hanging in the hallway. She says, go through there. Your presence through there. And I opened the banner and I looked out through their living room picture window in the backyard. Tons of people. Yeah, tons of yeah. people, friends who drove from Florida to North Carolina to uh, to honor my birthday. So it was a quite humbling thing, and just the best party. I mean, it's not something I requested or wanted, but they pulled it off just magnificently, and I'm so glad they did. I was very blessed with uh, friends who said some very very kind uh, things to me. Um, but in talking about being 70 and the age that bothers you. I told a friend of mine who said 70 is the only age that ever bothered me. He's 72. And I said, you know, I don't think I'm bothered by it. I said, the, the only age that bothered me was 35. 35 bothered me because it was halfway to 70. And 70, <laughs> when I was 35, when I was 35, 70 was our life expectancy. Well, here wow. I am. Yeah. Here I am. Now, yeah. life expectancy yeah. now is 77, 78 years old, but it, it has my attention. It's not a downer at all, <clears throat> but I am, as I've referenced before, I am very aware of trying to be the best example I can be, to be the best person I can be for my wife, my daughter, son-in-law, grandkids, friends, relatives, just to be the person that I can, am capable of being. I, I, we talked before, had, had videos before about <clears throat> people getting older and they get grumpier. And they, they're very proud that they don't have a filter anymore and they'll just say whatever they want to anybody. Yeah. I, I don't see the value in that. Um, I just don't see the value in that. So I, I do not take it at all lightly that I have made it to 70. So many of my contemporaries, friends, family members did not make it. Mm. And here I am, and I believe that I'm still here because there must be something I'm supposed to do. So I'm just trying to do it. There it is. Well, God, God bless you, Phil, and happy birthday. You deserve a uh, a big party. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Good. It sounds like you're not really a party guy. Um, not really, yeah. but it was a it was an immense joy. It was it was fantastic. But, but well, that's, what that's, that's, that's why we, we we particularly like when we all three of us chat because you are the perfect example of our, our the reason that we're in business doing this, these kind of things all together is we, we're celebrating our second act where we're living longer, healthier lives. Uh, and even when we don't have perfect health, we have ways to extend our lives because of medical science and things like that. And uh, you exemplify it. And, uh, and uh, I think you're, uh, Book of Principles are a perfect example of things that you've done, uh, just an example of the things that you've done to become a better person and to live a meaningful life. So uh, we thank you for being our friend and uh, 
we are looking forward to 71, 72, 80, and beyond. Happy Here birthday. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me on. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.